What are you talking about? Ask her if you don't believe me. Oh, no. No, no, it's not that I don't believe you. Oh, don't give me that look. Cockroaches? Yeah. So you had a pub shut down just because you wanted to hold a hen party here? Talk about yesterday's news. Which we are doing. Anyway, far from raising any money for Sarah, it's probably ended up costing us. Here, uh, I sold the chalet. I know it's not much, but... Well, the way things have been going today, it could have been worse. Oh, Grandad, you've got so much on with the funeral and everything. You didn't need to do that. Oh, what have we got here? 40 quid. Well, I guess every little helps, doesn't it? Yeah, well, I've got someone coming looking at my car tomorrow. Dad? It's no big deal. Well, in other news, I am going to be moving in with Moira. Since when? Since today. There's loads more room up there and, you know, I think she could actually do with the company, so... Please don't make this awkward. Well, if that's what you want, I'll give you a hand getting moved. Hey, hey chin up, we're getting there. Lady of the flaming muck to the rescue. Oh, good old Moira. You should be happy she's helping. Well, after today, Sarah's going to have all the money she needs, yeah? So we don't need any more help. Really? Right, and how are we going to do that, eh? More cockroaches? No, I'm done with cockroaches, actually. Time to go back to basics. When you say basics... Rich idiot plus expensive motor equals easy money. Don't tell me you're going to sit in your car all night again. Well, if we'd all done our shifts like we agreed... It was cold! <gasps> and boring! Well, in that case, I'll be out all night again, yeah, if that's what it takes. You reckon you'll be able to stay awake this time? What do you mean, this time? Oh. <laughs> you snore like an angry hippo with a chainsaw. <laughs> Not the most flattering of angles, you must admit. Just rest in my eyes, that's all. Mm. And don't think you're off the suspect list, either. So we've got eight different varieties, remember? Hmm. I think maybe this is the one I dislike the most. <sighs> yeah. Maybe don't use that in your sales pattern, right? Sales pattern? I'm selling olives, David. People either want them or they don't. <laughs> He's got a point. <laughs> oh, we should have wine and little dishes of olives at a book club. Book club? Mm, so you're serious? Yes, David. I like books, I like clubs. You do the math. Sounds like a winner to me. I'm proud of you. Yeah, so am I. Come on. How many books have you read recently? Uh, that's the point. I want to read more, and I bet other people do too. Oh! Book club places are filling up fast. Really? Uh, so, um, what's the first book? Uh... Could be anything, really, couldn't it? Um, but if I know my Tracy, uh, I reckon it's going to be one of the great works of literature. Oh, sorry. I haven't got time for that kind of thing right now. Good luck, though. <laughs> Your loss. Hi. Thanks for letting him stay. No problem. Uh, I was going to make a start on some lunch if you're interested. Yeah, listen, I won't see you out of pocket. Well, I think I can run to a couple of cheese and ham sandwiches. Oh, you know what I mean. I pay my way. Well, I will as soon as I find some work. We could help each other then. Because the one thing I really need around here is an extra pair of hands. Um, I'm not exactly an experienced farmhand. No, but you're an experienced mechanic. Trust me. Stuff's always breaking down round here. <laughs> It'd be a proper paid job. What do you say? Yeah, go on then. I've got a deal. Excuse me. We're looking for Debbie Dingle. Why are you knocking on my door then? Chap at the garage pointed us in this direction. Said her dad was helping her to move in. Is that not correct? What do you want? We've recovered CCTV footage showing someone matching your description with a stolen car involved in a hit-and-run incident. What stolen car? It's nothing to do with Debbie, for sure. We have reasons, I think, otherwise. Well, I don't know anything about it. Well, if you don't mind, we've got some more questions back at the station.
you ache? We could come back. No, oh, no, I've just got a booming headache on top of all the soreness. Goes hand in hand with concussion, apparently. You weren't sure if you've been taken out of surgery already? No surgery today. It's been postponed for some reason. I'm more concerned about Lucky. He's expecting me to visit, but I can't if I'm stuck in here. He'll understand. Will he? Who knows what he's feeling since he's been sentenced. I'm worried about him. Why don't I go and see him? Explain the situation. Tell him you'll be there as soon as you can. Thank you. Tell him that he needs to stay strong. And that I love him very much. Of course. It's the least I can do. Yes, thank you. I love you as well. <laughs> and remember, guys, books are the mirrors of the soul. Hillary had a regular book club. Just looked like an excuse to get plastered, if you ask me. <laughs> sure that never crossed your mind. Excuse me. I do not need an excuse to get plastered. I'm doing this for my love of literature. Really? So, what is your favourite work of literature? You know, if you had to choose just one. Uh, probably Moby Dick. You've read Moby Dick? Yes. About a while than that. OK, keep going. And he gets caught and his dad has to go looking for him. That's Finding Nemo, dear. Ah, oh, well, whatever. Doug! What's your favourite book, then? Well, I'm more of a non-fiction man myself. I've just finished a book on the Suez Canal that I think could be a real winner. And then there's another on the history of slate mining in the Lake District. OK, sorry. Uh, I'm out. Oh! oh, Vanessa, come on, at least give it a chance. One book a month, how hard can it be? What's the big deal? It means a lot to your sister. Even if it's just one book. Please. OK, one book. But that is all I'm committing to. Thank you. So let me go for now. Arrested, bailed and told not to leave the area. So you're telling me they're trying to pin a hit and run on you? Yeah, except the CCTV footage is all they've got. Doesn't prove anything. Could be any mother and her kids. Which is what I said to the police, but then they found the 50 grand in the car. They know that we need money. They've seen the fundraising page. Right, so we keep our heads down and we wait for this to pass. Oh, for how long? And then what? What, I'm just stuck here? Have you got a problem with that? The police are going to be all over this family. They're going to watch every single one of us. If we get caught doing anything stupid... Where's Mum? Yeah, um, about that. I'm going to for one night, darling. I'll be heading home straight after the meeting tomorrow. What's it like? Uh, I'm so sorry. I've had a slight change of plan. I'm going to stay put. There you go, sorry. There's an honesty box on the bar and another one for some vegetables on sale outside. <laughs> exactly. Early night for me, I think. Yeah, love you too. Oh! Ah. <laughs> I've not even had a drink yet. <laughs> oh, that hurt quite a lot, I've got to say. Yeah. What, if you didn't need a drink before, I need one now. Ah. Probably got better things to me in, though, hey? Well, as a matter of fact, what's the pub like next door? I don't know, I've no idea. Probably terrible. <laughs> I think I need to clean myself up, though, first, eh? Your room's got running water, right? Fingers crossed. Why don't you lead the way? doing and walk away. I mean it, Charity, you could ruin everything. Just, just, just come home, yeah? <sighs> just keep trying to phone. You never know, she might pick up. Ah, right, what are you gonna do? Well, you said she was pulling another scam and all the hotels she likes to use. Come on. Okay. This is really not a good time. Give me those keys. Oh, you're driving, are you? No one's driving anyway. What do you think you're playing at? Have you seen this car? This is all our money problems sorted in one go. Not anymore. Oh, really? Well, sorry, but just because you're playing Mr Goody Two-Shoes, someone's actually got to do something round here. Debbie was arrested. So you take these keys back to whatever idiot you stole them from. 
No. Thanks, Lisa. So, I know we want to keep things simple. Yeah, uh, Johnny wouldn't want any fuss. But there are still things I need to run through with you. Flowers, that kind of thing. Any, any thoughts? Uh, well, whatever you think's best. No? Right, OK. Um, I mean, did, um, did Joni have any particular favourites? A woman needs flowers at a funeral, for goodness sake. Uh, I'll talk to the florist, leave it with me. No need to spend silly amounts. Appreciate that. In the meantime, I'll speak with the funeral director and figure out the most economical options in terms of transport, coffin, etc. And I'll make sure they send some estimates so there's no nasty surprises when the bill comes. Well, thanks, Rekha. Oh, and there'll be no charge for my service. Oh, that's very kind. We both appreciate that, don't we? Well, have a think about what you'd like and we'll speak again tomorrow. Thanks, love. Oh. Well, let's just hope she's left enough to cover the funeral. What is it? I spoke to her solicitor. She's no uh, life insurance. Nothing of any real value. But lucky we can pay the solicitor's fees, let alone the funeral. We spent every last penny on trying to help Sarah. We're broke. So I'm out on police bail, not allowed to go anywhere. They can call me back at any time. In the meantime, you can guarantee they're going to be pretty much watching our every move. If I'd known... What? You want to try to steal a car on your own doorstep? Exactly how stupid are you? I was just trying to do my bit, actually, for Sarah. I mean, even Moira's managed to step in, hasn't she? You know, with a job and a place to live. What have I actually managed to achieve so far? Nothing. Rock and hard place here. Any of us put a foot wrong, they are going to come at me with everything that they've got. I understand that, but Sarah is not going to get what she needs off the back of a few quid from cast-offs and collection tins. We've only got ten grand to go. Only? From now on, we do this the right way. We keep our noses clean, right? All of us. Frank, let me guess, brought us some free olives. Very good. But you'll notice from the absence of apron that I am off duty. Uh, yeah, well, we are a bit busy, so... Or you could call it an early finish and make your way over for Tracy's inaugural book club. Oh, not that again. Oh, talk about pushy parents. Well, can't give it a chance. There's a nice bottle of red in it. How about two mm -hmm. bottles? That isn't necessary. No, if I'm going, you're going. When is it? Sort of now. Thank you. Right, well, we're expecting a delivery, so I assume you won't mind waiting. Oh. Not at all. Hi, you've reached Peggy Val. Please leave a message and we'll get back to you. How is this a job? Megan, it's Lawrence. Sorry for the short notice, but I'm going to have to cancel our meeting for tomorrow. Chrissy's having her operation. She wants to be there. Right, uh, looks like this is everyone. Welcome to the very first of what I hope will be many book clubs. That might have made an appearance. Maybe he knows not to cramp the style. Yeah, actually, I, if you want me to be somewhere else, that's uh, actually... I don't think so. Right. I need you to be handing out the wine and the olives. Oh, yeah, everyone, it's free wine and olives. Oh, maybe it's not going to be that bad after all. Right, the first one is Crime and Punishment by Fear... Fear... Dusty. Fyodor Dostoevsky. I haven't read this in years. Of course, the Brothers Karamazov was probably his real masterpiece. It's, um, <clears throat> it's very long. Oh, and old. Mine smells. Oh, yeah, I think they might have got a bit wet. I found them in a skip outside Houghton Library. That's terrible. Yeah, for us. Look, maybe we need to start with something a little less ambitious, just to get us going. Don't be so defeatist. What do you say, everyone? First three chapters by tomorrow? 
Absolutely not. Uh, it's a bit of a big commitment, Tracy. I've got to say, the print is very small. Yeah. Right, then. Who's for wine and olives? Ah, ah, ah. Participating book club members only. That's me. Oh, look, I can't make any promises. I've got a lot on. All right, Doug, well, no wine for you. And the rest of you, I expect to see you back here tomorrow after finishing the first three chapters. Hey, what's three chapters? <laughs> exactly! Oh. <laughs> Busy, I see. So, what do you want, Charity? You took your time. Came in a bit strong yesterday, um, so, you know. Is this you apologising? Yeah, if you like, yeah. It's very heartfelt. Is that everything? The money we still need for Sarah. I had my hands on it today. Near enough. And then for one reason or another, I just, I couldn't go through with it. I'm to take from that, we're not talking about a bank loan. You know, what I need here is something high return, low risk. Have you any ideas? Can't say I do. No, of course, cos you've left that life behind, haven't you? Well, I guess that's sensible at your age. And you should follow my example. Well, it's kind of hard when your granddaughter's life's hanging in the balance. Look, I just want to pick your brains. Advice. That is all I'm asking. And it'll be just between you and me, I promise. Please. So go on, then. What was your angle back in the day? You know, when Frank Clayton needed some quick cash? Someone's supposed to hold it while you're up there. Dan got bored. Surprise, surprise. What were you doing anyway? I'm out to catch a criminal with my new little friend. Cool. What kind of criminal? Does it matter? A criminal's a criminal in my book, and no crime goes unpunished. You ask Raskolnikov. Except they do, all the time. Well, not anymore. Not round here. I've had my fill. Always work with what you've got. That's what I learned early on. I'd be the man of their dreams. These rich, lonely widows. Yeah, not just widows. Recently divorced, trapped in a loveless marriage, you get the idea. And then you just run off with their life savings. Wow, lucky girls. Like I said, it was a long time ago now. You preyed on women at the lowest ebb. I thought you wanted advice, not to give me a lecture. You're right, sorry, carry on. You know, the truth is, it stopped just being about the money. It became like a sick addiction. Oh, poor Frank. Take Tracy's mum. She barely had anything worth taking, but in the end, I still took it. She'd got herself a credit card. She never even had the chance to use it. Paid for three weeks in the Maldives. But Tracy forgave you. She doesn't know all the gory details. That her life could have worked out very differently if it wasn't for me. Well, this is all really fascinating, but I haven't got time for the long game. I need a quick hit. If you want my advice, find another way. I'm sorry, I can't help you any more than that. Well, that's where you're wrong. The confessions of Frank Clayton. Get me the money I need, or I'm going to tell your girls. In fact, no, I'm going to tell everybody. Just what a charmer you really are. Mmm. Chrissy called. The operation's been confirmed for tomorrow. Great. How was Lockton? I don't know. Yeah, well, it's not easy to know what's going on inside that boy's head at the best of times. I mean, he didn't want to see me. Or anyone. That's what they said when I got there. But that's ridiculous. Why would he...? It seems he's made it clear he doesn't want any contact. Not now, not ever. <sighs> How on earth are we going to tell Chrissy that he doesn't want to see anybody from his own family? She's worried about him enough as it is. You 
really going to blackmail me? How low can you go? As low as I need. Just like you. So how about you come back and sit back down, have a little drink, might give you some inspiration. Sorry, but it's not going to work. Everyone knows what I was, and I served my time for it too. So you really want your girls to hear how you ripped off vulnerable women, dear? How you ruined your own daughter's life for, what, a few weeks in the Bahamas? Maldives, but all right, I get your point. But you don't get it. I'm not that man anymore. Yes, you are. Of course you are. A leopard never really changed its spots. Which is why I need you to pull off the con of your life. Yeah. Time's ticking. Take Tracy's mum. She barely had anything worth taking, but in the end I still took it. She'd got herself a credit card. She never even had the chance to use it. Paid for three weeks and the mum leaves. OK. OK, there is something. But it's a two-man job. No way, you're on your own. Make it work or think of something else. If you want that kind of money that quickly, it's all I've got. Think harder. Ask yourself. What's more important to you right now? Helping Sarah or playing your nasty little games with my family? No, I'm serious. Either we do it together or not at all. Your call. Amanda Redman welcomes us to the Good Karma Hospital. Brand new drama for Sunday nights on ITV at nine. Next, though, Leanne's curiosity is about to get the better of her in Coronation Street. <laughs> 